European larch and the Pinaceae, Larix decidua. And as the species name suggests, it is indeed a decidua species in that it actually loses its needles during the, right before the winter. This is the genus Larix. They all look very similar except for some fairly distinct important characteristics. All larynx have needles that are held singly on the twig for the current year's growth. But if you look back on older shoots, you see that the needles are in these tufts or whorls, typically 30 to 40 in a whorl. The cones on all larynx are upright. Many members of the pine family, the cones are pendant, but on the genus larynx, the cones are upright. Now the cones on Larix decidua, the European larch, are relatively big compared to Larix laricina, which is our native larch, the eastern tamarack or American larch. All the larches look fairly similar in that they lose their needles right before the end of the fall, and they turn a brilliant gold. It's one of the most beautiful trees in the fall. And they turn very late in the year, typically about a few weeks before Thanksgiving. The larches have very distinct characteristics in terms of where they occur. European larch is an upland species throughout Europe, widely planted in the eastern United States. Our eastern larch, or tamarack, is found in very swampy, uh, acidic peatlands. It's actually a bog species, typically with another species called black spruce. This is a fairly large example of larch. Larches don't get much bigger than this. And when they get very large, they start to show this really distinct bark that has rectangular ridges with relatively deep furrows and not a big gap in between. It's a very open canopy tree because it's relatively shade intolerance, so it tends to not have a very dense canopy. It's a good tree for upland plantings, although it is not native to the eastern United States. It does do very well in rather dry conditions. The European larch, Larix decidua.